Transition sound effects is a very broad category. It typically includes stuff like bass drops, booms, and especially whooshes. And in this tutorial, I'm going to focus on these rather short whooshy type of sounds that are very often used in animations, tutorials, vlogs, and are in general very useful for video editors. So here I'm going to start with the default preset in Vital. If you have watched some of my tutorials, I also have one on whooshes. And so we're going to start by a very basic whoosh setup. Just use the white noise here, use an LFO and assign it to the level and use the LFO in envelope mode. And we are going to go for a really short sound here. And we're going to draw in a shape similar to this. Usually something like this will give you that very basic whoosh shape. So we can already bounce this one as our first variation. The next thing you can do besides this, because this sounds really generic and boring, you can start adding some movement and some flavor to this. And so we can just use a filter here. And let's start by using one with uh, very high resonance. And we can assign the LFO to the cutoff of this as well. And let's just see if we find an interesting setting there. So this one sounds a bit more interesting. So let's just resample this as well. Now we could also just use a different filter setting and maybe filter more of the highs out. So we get a lower short whoosh. And use some distortion to bring it up a bit more. Let's bounce this as well. And now we can also make it a bit wider and add some more movement with a chorus and see how that sounds. So that's just another variation for this. Bounce this as well. And we can also try adding some multiband compression. This is gonna bring out some of the details. Reduce the distortion a bit. Now we can also add a bit of reverb. Bounce this as well. Then we can also use the technique that I used in the Waves video. So just use the chorus here. So this gives us a nice tail that maybe we can reverse later and use as a transition element as well. Let's deactivate the reverb again. And now we can use another filter and maybe use a Kung filter on this one with a rather high resonance. So we can also get some more tonal sounds out of this. So these are both a bit more interesting. And of course, what you can also do is instead of using the white noise here, we can just import different samples now with the settings that we have here and play around with those and see if we get some more interesting results. This is especially useful if you want some more organic layers. If you use your own recordings, you're immediately gonna get the more natural sound out of it. And we can also deactivate the Kuhn filter again, because with the Kuhn filter, everything tends to sound the same after a certain point, so it's better to not use it all the time. Instead of the sample here, we can also just use any waveforms that we like. We could go in here and choose one of these wavetables and just use LFO1 on some of the settings here as well, just to get some more movement in there and see if maybe we can get some interesting results. Maybe this could be useful later, so let's just bounce it. And now once you have a bunch of audio files, you can actually just manipulate them further and make them a bit more interesting. You can get some glitchy sounds if you use some warping, especially in Ableton, it's very easy to just use some of the warp modes and get interesting sounds. You can also reverse this. So and we can bounce this one as well. And maybe just record a few other variations of this. And of course, especially the sounds that we had the reverb on, we can also just reverse them. These are usually pretty nice reverse sounds that are also very useful as transitional effects. And then of course, the actual fun starts when we start layering these samples and create a bit more interesting transitional effects by doing so. So I could just maybe layer these two on top of each other and add some more stuff. Thank you. 
I'm gonna pitch this one down. This one is a bit too loud. Try this one. And now I'll also add some longer elements so the fading isn't that boring. Let's see what we can do with this one maybe. Let's just group this for now and just do some quick processing here. And you know, you could just bounce this as well and keep it as an asset. And of course it gets more interesting once you actually start layering these kinds of sounds with other transitional elements or pretty much any element that you want but they work really well with uh, stuff like bass drops and booms so we can just try this out as well. Let's just grab this one. So stuff like this always works pretty much. We can also create one version with a downer. Let's take a rather simpler one. So stuff like this is very useful to create. And as you can see, you can just create a lot of different sounds very quickly and then layer them. And the more you create, the higher the likelihood that there are some really cool, interesting sounds in there. Not all of this is obviously good and not all is useful or not all is good enough to use. You can spend a few hours doing just those and you're gonna end up with some really good sounds in there.